This is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check production of Mike Check Movie Review. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Join the madness. Social media in the, in the description box along with the Discord link. Click on that. We are doing the review for Memento, one of my favorite Christopher Nolan films of all time. The story behind this film for me is we were doing like an assignment in a, I think it was creative writing class or some kind of English class in college, and the teacher wanted us to do an interpretation of what we thought was happening in this particular film and I've never seen this film before so we watched in like a two-day like class period increments and I immediately fell in love with this film and I loved every single second of it and just how the film is structured and made you think you had to figure out what was all going on like a detective drama slight bit of horror if you think about some things that kind of or scary to think about. I love this film. I've watched it two more times since then. Let's get into the numbers before I get into my actual thoughts on the film. Critics rate this film a 9.3 out of 10. Audience rate this film a 9.4 out of 10. The budget of this film was $9 million and they box office back $40 million. Now on to the comments. This was Christopher Nolan's second film like ever sent to theaters so for this being like a second film he's ever done that's pretty damn good <laughs> came out in like 2002 2001 the graininess is still there you can tell it's from like the early early 2000s maybe late 90s but the way the film is structured and how the story is told and how everything just unravels over time just it holds up so well up to today's standards this film is so good like it beats out a lot of films that are supposedly fantastic nowadays which is kind of sad if you ask me definitely a film that you need to pay attention to especially for first-time viewers because the way this film is structured is very complicated before I get into the structure of the film to keep in mind that the black and white scenes of this film are in the past and the colored scenes are set in the future so how this uh, movie is kind of built is that it starts out with like the ending of the film and then the next scene is the first scene. And it kind of goes like 10, 1, 9, 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6, 5. It, it, it's structured very strangely to where, like, if you don't know what's going on, you're not going to know what's going on. Even if everything unravels at the end, you're still not going to know what's going on. There are a couple cons. Just, just two. One of them was definitely, like, with me saying that I like the film structure of this film, that can be a con when it comes to like a first time viewer because if they don't fully grasp what's going on or if they're not really paying attention the entire time they're not going to get what's going on and they're not going to enjoy the film kind of like when it comes to like inception even though i feel like inception is an easier film to follow and grasp this film i feel like takes some time to kind of piece together what's going on this weird jigsaw puzzle that the you put it together and the pieces aren't fit right and then you realize oh they go this way instead and then there was like a description of insulin being taken in the arm that didn't seem accurate but it was just one little nitpick scene kind of talk about everything I like about this film soundtrack amazing film structure amazing aged well <laughs> amazing Shows Nolan's genius, it definitely does. Again, with all the stuff I've already talked about. Guy Pierce's performance as Leonard Shelby, who is portrayed as a troubled and distraught man with a horrible condition. That is surprisingly done so well. And this, I think this is the first film I've ever seen Guy Pierce in a movie. And I was very taken aback by his portrayal of this character. And I actually really liked it a lot. For me, it makes me want to go back and just watch this film again to see if there's any small, other little tiny little details that I missed that weren't catch the first time. The way that um, Shelby was taking notes with his uh, mental illness going on, because he can't remember anything after like a certain period of time, he was taking notes on his, on his body via like tattoos of like like facts about like the killer who uh, killed his wife and everything. That was actually a very interesting and smart thing to do when it comes to a guy like that who was trying to solve a mystery. Some of the ha tattoos were even like homemade with like hand poke, like he literally tied together like a pen with a paper clip and broke another pen and pretty much burned and pending a new tattoo on his body. The concept of memories is explained very deeply in this film, saying like memories can be like fabricated or changed over time if you don't really want to remember something as it is, you can change it to something else. Pretty much if you are paying attention in the film 
Leonard Shelby pretty much explains his problem in this film like halfway through the movie but he denies that he's not like that at the very end. It also kind of opens your eyes on the kind of people who take advantage of the mentally ill because there's some people who have like used Leonard Shelby in like the wrong ways like, to kind of get to their goals and everything like oh I'll help you if you help me do this and everything because you can do this and that like that it it sucks that there's people like that out there but it opens your eyes and makes you realize that like there's more to the story than just him trying to figure out who killed his wife and he has bad memory Oh, and the plot twist at the very end was also fantastic. The plot twist of the story itself, and the plot twist of the fact that how this film was structured when you figure out how everything, how everything went together. Memento is a film I 100% recommend for everyone. It's I recommend it. I recommend it for people who want to follow uh, a, like a career in like psychology, or people who just like really damn good movies. <laughs> this is one of them. I'm gonna have to rate this a 9.5 because it's just, it's so damn good. I cannot hate this film ever because it's just, it, it makes you think in ways that you haven't thought before and think about stuff that you should have thought about like earlier in life and go, oh wait, that's right. That is all the time I have for this review. This is Mike Check 95 with this Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review. Signing up.